Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. Stop mocking me, Scott. Today we're going to talk about Xbox. We're, we're just gonna call it Let's Talk Xbox because you're not Vanna White. Where do you stop? We're gonna talk about a few Xbox games we played. We've either completed or put a good amount of time in that we think we can have a conversation. But we know some stuff about it. Uh, you're a woman. You could talk about just about anything. I could. For starters, we really want to try something new on the channel. Um, we toyed with the idea of doing a shout out video, but we really just want to hone in on one channel. we do more of like a highlight. We'll yeah. highlight one channel once in a while here on the channel. It's not like I know we're a smaller channel, but we're going to highlight other channels that are under a thousand subs. Why a thousand? Just because that is the milestone everybody seems to want to achieve that's that like it's your first big milestone. it's your first big milestone yeah. i looked up on youtube the amount of subscribers in the gaming community that are watching oh the amount of subscribers watching yes gaming related I think that's what it means is like 87.6 million subscribers million million <laughs> so there's enough people out there watching but if you're such a small channel that they can't find you, sometimes it takes a little bit of a nudge, maybe from other people saying, hey, yeah, you start we over. saw you, we yeah. like what you're doing, <laughs> we want to get you some exposure. So today we're gonna talk about Everyday Retro Gaming, a cool channel we found maybe a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you found him and then started showing me a few of his videos. Yeah. One of my hands down favorite videos of his is his Halloween, Halloween video. Oh, yeah. At first I was I was like, what are we doing here? Is this like it was cool. a gameplay it was, video? I didn't no, know and I then I think it was titled something along the lines of five is it horror games or five I don't know, maybe it's just five video games you want to try for Halloween. We're we're gonna pop it up on the screen anyway. Yeah, anyway, it was a cool way of doing it. It was almost like a movie. Yeah. Showing him playing a game, then a door opens to the side and then it like, closes. Like there's a scary like there's ghost. There's a scary ghost. It was really well done. It was really well done. Really well done. Yeah, well, well I, I don't see a whole lot of that on YouTube. So because we thought- Because it's difficult to do. Yeah, so we really thought, wow, this guy has something. Yep. As far as reviews go, it does re good reviews. Does great reviews. Yep. At the time of shooting this video at 425 subscribers, we think he, he should, should be, have way yeah, more. Yeah, he should be way higher than that. Oh, yeah. Yep. We can't wait to see what comes of his channel in yep. the future. I really see big things if he continues on. And the reason we wanted to highlight his channel is because we don't want you to get lost in the shuffle. We don't want you to, you know, not think people are paying attention. People are paying attention. It's, we it's just hard. need you to get some more exposure. So yeah, that's it's, why. It's hard. It's a grind to get it to is a thousand. A and uh, we don't want you to fall off maybe get discouraged yeah because i think that happens to that a lot of people that does happen a lot it does yeah. happen a lot yep. yeah so it's a lot of work youtube's a lot of work oh wow yeah it is if a lot it of work if it was either myself or just you i don't know if it would have been as fun it that's that's yeah. just the thing so if you're a solo uh it's content creator yeah. it's it's a bit harder on yeah if you don't have somebody in your corner like we're in each other's corner all the time yeah but we've also networked and Get become part of the community you motivate each other and everything exactly so. and we want people that really want to help him grow in the community yeah. watch watch yeah. if you're gonna watch you need to subscribe you need to comment to let that person know you're there and what he does is really phenomenal and i i see big things so Please oh, yes. go check it out and consider subscribing if, if he's your cup of tea. Yeah. He's our cup of tea, so we both subscribed. <laughs> or Happy Juice. Let's start. Let's start. We're going to talk. Let's talk Xbox. We have four games for you guys. And let's just start with the first one. Yeah. Nope. There. Close. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Outrun 2. You guys have heard us talk yeah, about this Yeah, we've talked before. about this before, but it's... It's, I have to actually talk more about it. I think we had Dennis over was it last weekend and he got to play it for the yeah. first time. And uh, it's actually a different perspective for me to sit back and watch. Oh yeah, and you get I to look, see the scenery. Yeah. It's and then beautiful. we would start handing the controller back and forth trying to complete different uh, challenges and stuff like that. Actually just watching the game, the game is still beautiful. It the really, scenery, really is. The scenery in the background there. 
I remember when he was driving by, it was like a, like a pyramid. Yeah. And I was like, holy crap, this game still really looks phenomenal. I remember hearing about the pyramid while I was falling asleep on the chair. <laughs> yeah. So it's an arcade racer. <laughs> it's, it's a great a, game. It's that same outrun feel where you have that kind of a weird maze you can take for a path to get to the finish line. Yeah. And I think on if you take left, hand side of the track, it's easy, but if you start taking all rights, it gets harder, or, or it's harder. So I'm a left hand track kind of you, girl. You're gonna stay on I'm the left. I'm gonna stay on the yeah. left. Or maybe you're gonna go up the middle and take different routes. There's so much, just to see all the different scenery there. You could, yeah, you could there's play a lot to a explore lot. about this yep. game. And then there's different challenges, and the challenges that you gotta do, it actually makes you a better driver, because it teaches you how to drift. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Not in real life. Te no. We're not saying this <laughs> makes you a better, better driver in, in this game. game. But yeah, it'll teach you how to drift because it's a really cool mechanic on the game of being able to drift. It teaches you how That's to get better. Cool. So that yeah, you when you first at the you first game. start, you're gonna be taking the left side of the track there. And then as you get better doing these challenges, you're gonna start taking other Nice. Other, other paths. That's why I would like to play it some more. Get yeah. get good. You gotta get, get good. You gotta get good at yeah. racing games. I am still learning. I'm still yeah. learning how to be good at racing games, but that might be cool to explore. This one is not backwards compatible. It is like, sadly it, correct not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost 100% positive that it's not backwards compatible. Yeah. And it's probably due to a licensing issue with Out, Outrun. It could be, or yeah. Sega or whatever, you know. Before I end with this game, I want to do something where I kind of give it a rating, but I don't want to give it a rating out of a 10 or a score out of 100 or something like that, but I want to do something kind of fun. I want to do, um, do I think this belongs in the category of Xbox Gold or not? Okay. So. And, and what do you think? In my opinion, I love this game, and I do believe this is Xbox Gold. I really agree, too, yeah. as far as racing games go. Xbox Gold. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. All right, game number two is Armed and Dangerous, and I want to I want to describe it as LOL, WTF. I agree. Awesome. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> this game is hilarious. It's ridiculous on every level. It is. I don't even think, we're, we're going to tell you what we think about it, but I don't even think we can do it justice in the small amount of time we're going to spend on it. So there is a great review actually on YouTube. You guys also need to check out. It really highlights the game even more. Yeah. We will pop it in the description. Let's talk a little bit more about this game. Oh man, I think like the gameplay itself is is fun and addictive. It's, it's not a difficult game to play. And we're talking a four hour game here, It's a short game. Yeah, yeah it's a short game. Yeah. But this is also a cheap game to pick up. It this is. It's like 10 bucks, I don't know. It'll be... Maybe we can pop maybe it Maybe the ten, best $10 you'll oh, ever spend absolutely. on a game, you will absolutely. laugh your ass off. Absolutely. I The, the cutscenes in between your missions are the best part of the game. It is. If you like... Monty Python kind of humor. Humor, absolutely. Yeah. It's ridiculous on every level. And I had I've seen a few reviews on this and everybody says the same thing. It's very Monty Python humor. Yeah. The cutscenes are fabulous. This is the Some best of the part. weapons the, are amazing. Just having just your normal machine gun is awesome because you have a hundred round clip and you can just, and the and the amount of ammo drops that you get is just uh, off the charts. Off the charts. It's yeah. ridiculous. Everything in the game blows up. And then it just, it goes, just doesn't blow up. <laughs> like blows up like completely. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> like a big thing. It's like as if you just, slingshot boom. everything into the yeah. air every time everything you blow up. Everything blows up. You could shoot a, a, a penguin and it blows up a like hundred feet into the air. It's crazy. It's crazy. I want to just name off a couple of my favorite cutscenes that are in this game. Because that's yes. what keeps you wanting to play to see what what's coming next the scene with the rhino where <laughs> it's definitely inspired by a star wars film because lucas arts lucas arts yeah. if that does not give that away yeah you'll know this one here is the rhino oh, oh yeah. oh, 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 oh. he's freezing we gotta warm him up or he'll die no problem 
Here's a little trick I learned back in Kalios during the Lime Dixon War. Oh, good idea, mate. What? I've seen this done before. He'll split open the dead beast's stomach and stick Rexus amongst the warm entrails. Should keep him warm for at least a day. Right, I'll be off here vomiting. No, that's not necessary. Just stick it in there. <laughs> Oh, works better when they're dead. Okay, Rexus. Mammy, I feel like I've been born again. The second cutscene there that I really enjoyed, I think, would be the lady in the pond. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. Let's pop that in here right now. Well, what no? Patience! She will appear when she's ready. What does that mean? When she's had her hair done? After the gills have been waxed? Oh, this is pointless. Ah! Oh, shit. Jonesy! What? Well, what, did, what did he just do? Well, Rex, put it this way. Your beloved Lady of the Pond is now lying face down in the water with some major head trauma. It was a bleeding accident. Well, get her out. The third cutscene that made me laugh, and I totally seen this coming, is when the kid at the leper colony asked Roman, I think it was, to play soccer with To him play soccer. Because all the kids were gone. All the kids were gone. Lisa, can you kick this ball with me? All my brothers and sisters are no longer with us. Sure I can, lad. And you can call me Rome. Okay, thank you, Mr. Roman. I'll be goalie. Here I am. Okay, kick it, Mr. Roman. Go for the goal! Goal! Oh, no. We gotta talk weapons, guys. We yeah, gotta talk weapons. There's some cool weapons. There are some. My favorite weapon in the entire game has to be the land shark <laughs> because what the hell kind of game has a weapon that is a shark? So you shoot. You shoot, little shark comes out, goes into the ground, and then you see the fin. Yeah. Going through the dirt or the snow or whatever, and then the soldiers will be like, hey, what's that? <laughs> yeah, and then up pops a shark and just devours Full them. Full on jaws. It is friggin' hilarious. My favorite weapon was the, I think it's called the Vindaloo. Yes. Launcher. I don't know if it's a rocket launcher, but it was, you could put on like a target. It was like a homing missile. You could target anything in the whole game and just phew, goes and blows them up. It's so fun but it makes the game so easy at the same time so this game is backwards compatible i actually played it on my xbox series x yeah it's backwards so compatible all, all the, way the way now it doesn't help the graphics on this at all no, the no graphics way. the graphics are downright terrible <laughs> laughable but i think it adds to the character of the game. yes it does and we're not saying graphics wise pixelation it's terrible it is that too <laughs> we're talking just the animation actual animation the animation <laughs> this game pick it up guys awesome. just play you it you know what i love it yeah it's a quick play i'm i'm probably gonna play it again maybe I, yeah. in a year or two and because i'm one of those guys that can put that same movie in and laugh at and the laugh. same stupid jokes do do we even need to say whether this is xbox gold mm, or not i'm no i don't you, think it's xbox gold do you think it's xbox i think gold? it's xbox do gold you? i really do i hate this word of hidden gem but it's a hidden gem. If you get that much enjoyment from a game and you get that many laughs and it was an experience all in its own, it unlike awesome. anything else, that's yeah. gold to me. It was awesome. Up next, game number three. If you can count, that's what comes after two. It's not potato. Get the game. <laughs> get the game. Panzer Dragoon Orta on the Xbox original, but you didn't play it that way. Where no, did you play it? I actually played it on my Xbox Series X. Yes. I think you thought this was a fantastic game, correct? I actually loved it. I thought it was it's still gorgeous. It is it graphically is. really, really they, beautiful. They actually upped the uh, resolution on they the did. original game. So if you go and you play it on the Xbox One or Xbox Series X, what you do is you put this disc in, it just downloads the, uh, the version that's on Game Pass. So you're yeah. getting that higher resolution. Now, this is just on... on rail shooter yeah like, like a rail you're, shooter. you're on a dragon and they actually the dragon that you have can be morphed into three different types of dragons mm -hmm. depending on what kind of combat you're in 
You have a heavy dragon that does your most damage, but it's slow. There's a glider that is quick and maneuverable, but doesn't do a lot of damage. And then the other one is base wing. Base wing, I think, is kind of average all the way around. So you got options depending on what your fighting yep. style is or what your enemy is, I guess. It's depending on the enemy. Okay. Because you're going to have to switch dragons. This um, game I didn't personally play. I did watch Scott play a bit of it. Yeah. It's a shorter game. But it I'm, is. I'm telling you that it... It's worth the experience. Like it's freaking almost breathtaking there watching it because your dragon you can move on up and down, but you have a radar up in the right hand corner that tells you where your enemies are. Yes, and, and that's really helpful. I you hear. move your camera angle around your dragon, so you'll see you see your dragon maybe from the front or the side or the back, depending on where your enemies are, where you need to move yeah. your camera angle, and that will depend on how you maneuver because you have a speed up and a slow down button also along with your firing buttons and yeah. for attacks. Some of this, when you go through scenes where you're doing like a dive bomb and then you'll hang a tight corner and then go around, they're freaking awesome. It, it sounds like a really fun game and I love the graphics of it. I love that it still stands up. To me, and this is probably going to be, you know, a niche crowd that, that feels the same way as me, and most people will probably agree with Scott. Yeah. It was like 3D Thunder Force to me, and I'm not really it's, well, into it's, those sort of games. It's a shooter. It's it, a shooter. So, yeah, it's 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 a rail shooter, So, but the way, you're, the way you move your camera around, it makes you feel like your dragon's moving through yeah. the world, but it's not. You're, you're going through the scenes and you get to change your camera angle while moving the dragon and up I and down and I can really sideways. appreciate all that stuff about the game. I think you could go through it in, in probably and, four or five hours. And that's not to say there weren't some difficult parts on it. Oh no, this game, the difficulty level, is actually quite high. The main boss at the end was hard. Yes. It was so hard, I died so many times. I, I actually had to go that. and check out somebody's gameplay online, on YouTube. Thank God for YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> because there was a certain, I had to switch to a certain dragon in, in order to counter one of the attacks. Yeah, and you wouldn't know that. Yeah. In, inherently, you wouldn't realize that. I'm assuming, although I tried to do that last time, this is Xbox Gold for you. In my opinion, this is Xbox Gold. I'm gonna hold, reserve yes. my opinion on whether it's Xbox Gold or not until I try it, and maybe I yeah. can update you guys in following a following yeah. video on when I tried it and what I really thought about it. Number, number four, four is actually number three in the Metal Slug series. It right? is. This game, wicked fun. Wicked fun, wicked, wicked difficult. Wicked difficult. Wicked difficult. Um, I actually watched a speed run today. Yeah. And I think it was blows my um, mind. I think it was a an enhanced version on the I believe PS4 or PS5. Okay. I was playing it on, and I wouldn't mind getting that. I want to ask how many levels are there to this game because we made it to three, but we didn't I, make it through three. I think there's five. But it gets ridiculous. Oh! And the speed run I seen, the guy didn't die once, and it was just phenomenal. It blew me away. It was like watching a god. Because, <laughs> like, I couldn't even imagine yeah. not dying in this game no. at least once. At least once every five seconds. Some of the music in this is actually really good. Yes! I like the music on the three, I think it is, when you start off fighting the zombies. Yeah. I it actually, might be stage two, I think. The I zombies. actually enjoyed all the music in it as well. It was really fun. I, I loved hearing him say, heavy machine gun. Like, or just every time he got a- Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. <laughs> just the way he would say it was hilarious. Rocket launcher. Sometimes that can be a little repetitive and you're like, okay, dude, you don't have to say it every yeah, time. But, fun, but with this one, you're like, yeah. just say rocket launcher. Just say rocket launcher in your somewhat southern drawl, rocket <laughs> launcher. Alex even played it with you a bit. Alex Dennis did. played it. Dennis played it. You played it. I don't know if I'll ever be good enough to beat this game. I just don't know. I'm going to continue to poke away at it. I think so. I think we should. Uh, it's fun. I don't know if it's, it's easier one person or two. I really don't. I have the amount to be of stuff easier on the too. screen. Uh, There's an extra person on the screen, so it, the, your focus gets a little bit more split. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Sometimes there. I got confused what Did character you, I was. You were, yeah, that yes. happened to me too. That happened to me too because all the characters kind of look a little, a little close. A little close, and it's yeah. just the overwhelming amount of enemies coming at you. It's easy to get lost looking at 
you know, a bomb going off here when you could have an enemy behind you. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a little tricky like that, but I think that's what makes it cool. What were your favorite things about the game? I think we have two similar favorite things about the game. I, there was a couple things that just tickled me pink. Though. I mean, some of the weapons were really cool. The homing weapons that would yeah, like, like yeah. I said, I love my homing weapons. because I don't know what it is, but the shotgun this. This the, shotgun awesome. is the shotgun awesome. is awesome. But uh, really notable was if you eat too much, you get fat and slow. You get fat and slow, yeah, <laughs> like really big. And then instead of crouching down or laying down, the guy just sits on his ass there. Like, bah, screw bah, 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 bah. It. I can't do this anymore. Walkings for people who enjoy that sort of stuff. And then uh, another thing, when you're in that zombie level, um, if they. I think it's when they puke at you, they hit you, there. you turn into a zombie. Yes, you can't get hit twice, though, as no, a zombie, because it'll kill, kill you. you. But it did give you the extra benefit of you could take one hit from a zombie, yeah. and it didn't kill you. But you there needed was to find a health pack. There was a benefit to being a zombie, because your bombs that you have actually turn into a big blood vomit, that you yes. see, which is a super strong it weapon. It is a super strong weapon. And then in the speed run that I watched, I think it was at the end of level two. In that level where the aliens are circling around, yeah. um, he strategically jumped into the last part and got turned into a zombie. And then when the aliens came out and started circling it, he just puked blood at them a bunch Vomit. of times, Vomit. knocked them all out. And then you get to do the part, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's like a spaceship or I don't, I don't know what know. it is, but something comes out of the ground and he did a puke blood a few times, went over, got the health pack that was still sitting there, then he finished it off. Nice. He made it look so easy, it was crazy. It'll be difficult to beat, but it'll be fun to try. <sighs> I just don't know. It I don't looks know either. so hard. It can be, it could be completed in a couple hours, realistically. If you're good at if it. If you're good. Yeah. yeah. But I just don't know. But it, like I said, it wouldn't be one of those games where <laughs> Adventure Island you have to work your way through it a bunch of times before you can even get to the end to try again. This is this, just, this you can start here, at any chapter you want. It gives you the option to pick each level. Yeah, so, so if we wanted to try to, to perfect practice the level. level. That's, yeah, because I think they realize the difficulty of the game. In my opinion, and I believe in Xbox opinion, because it opinion. is backwards compatible all the way up to Xbox Series X. Not this one, but the HD version. Yeah. That this is Xbox Gold. I agree. I agree. It this was a lot of awesome. fun. Alex enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed that it. played it enjoyed Everybody it. Everybody that played it here enjoyed it. It's a great game. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the end of this episode of Xbox Talk. Yeah. Um, maybe in the comments, if uh, let us know if you agree or disagree on my rankings of gold or not gold. Yeah. But then can you pop in maybe some some, some suggestions for games that we've, I might want to, that you think are gold. Yes. And we've been getting suggestions from you guys from our previous Xbox videos. We've been listening. We're going to keep an eye out for those games, but keep yeah. the suggestions coming. Yeah. Because we want to continue on. I'm first and foremost. Yeah. Because I want to keep trying all these games. Yeah. So if I, and I can't even tell you how many games I've never heard of. I've, I've seen on somebody else's channel. It's, and be like, oh, oh I, gotta, yeah. I gotta get that. The backlog is going to get ridiculous. Just ridiculous. It is. Yeah. All right. Till next time, guys. Game on.